Hello, my subscribers and viewers, especially my returning subscribers. I trust God that all is well with you all. We are here again to discuss couples that are not discussing their life issues together during courtship, even before engagement, to stop fightings and quarrelings down the road. Instead, they are busy showing lovey lovey, traveling or going to places and eating in different uh, restaurants, etc. I am not saying those things are not good. You need to enjoy yourselves and savor the moment of engagement and all that. But at some point, life issues need to be discussed to be on the same page. Some of these issues are like, um, one, blood test. This is very important. The blood genotype of the couple. In marriage, the SS genotype, being a sickler genotype, cannot marry an AS or an SS genotype spouse because both of them have a possibility of having two children out of four being sicklers or even the whole four if they are unlucky and sicklers have crisis all through their lives till age 21 if they have not passed away leaving their parents very unhappy frustrated and devastated i made a vlog on this topic on genotype before i will pin the link in the comment section for detailed information if you are interested to can go back and read it how many children number two how many children do you want to have when you start your wife is a model you have not discussed whether she will continue modeling for how and for how long or give it up entirely because that career requires you to be slim and if possible don't start a family yet maybe your wife is also a career woman maybe a hair hostess you have not discussed or agreed if she will stop working when the children starts coming and become a full housewife which some men want their wives to be for a while or permanently or provide alternative solution of how she wants to take care of the children while she's still uh, working. Each couple's situation is different. You can't compare each other's situation. The fact that your friend did it one way, you will also do it the same way. No, no two relationships are the same. Your husband is abroad and you have not discussed the difficulties and length of time of processing papers and have the understanding of how you are going to run the family since you will be living separately for a while. Another one, your finances. Who is going to be doing what? Are you going to have a joint account or you will have a joint account and also have your own personal accounts? This needs to be discussed. This is what causes friction. The welfare of your unborn children. Where and what kind of schools will they attend? Where are you people going to stay when you are married? Are your parents old? Will any of them be living with you people? Where and when? My viewers, what kind of advice do you have for couples that are heading towards uh, marriage? Please comment and give your own advice. Some ladies feel that their partners have uh, money and as such, they don't need to discuss or be in agreement with anything. Whatever he says is okay with them. Money can solve everything for them. They later find out in life that they are not fulfilled and are like furniture in the man's house. A woman needs to have her own personal money. Such women are married for the wrong reasons, not for love. The love for money is the root of all evil for both the man and the woman. Another important 
one is uh, religion. Are you both of the same faith? Either Christians or Muslims? The word of God tells us not to be unequally yoked with unbelievers. That means both of you have to be of the same faith for things to work out properly. Your children will not be divided between their religion. Even if you are both Christians, what type of church will both of you be attending? Before marriage, maybe one was attending Catholic church and the other one was attending a Pentecostal church. So what have you people now agreed to be doing now to the church you want to go to? These things must be agreed upon. So whenever the situation presents itself, the couple already have an idea of what to do. In marriage, both couples should live a fulfilled life because you are two individuals with different destinies. Marriage is not to stop a man or a woman's destiny, but to complement each other, to help each other to, to stand and be what God has destined them to be. So not discussing these things lead to domestic violence and all kinds of abuse in the home, like emotional abuse, mental abuse, material abuse, and even physical abuse, etc. I hope I am making sense here. Please comment, share, like, subscribe, and don't forget to put on your notification bell for more video uploads. By the time the lovey, lovey, dovey stage is over, you are now married and possibly a child has arrived in the marriage. Then those things you refuse to discuss earlier are now staring at you on your face. I have seen and heard families divorcing because of this issue that they did not discuss before they got married. So let us all be wise. Thanks for watching till the end. Please share with people that need to listen to this. Subscribe, like and comment. I will be seeing you in my next video. Lots of love from Grandma Esohi. Bye. God bless you.